Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing how to make some different Celtic knots. My new macrame online course is also currently on pre-sale in the online shop. The course is called Explorations Through Macrame and will share all of the beginning techniques of macrame as well as five different projects and also comes with 25 lesson videos. Make sure to head to the website at cactusladycreation.com to check it out. The materials you will need for this project are some rope. I am using 10 millimeter braided cotton cord a board of some kind to mount your knots to while working. I am using cardboard for this, and also some sewing pins to hold everything in place. Celtic knots are sacred geometric symbols going back thousands of years and are believed to have originated in Northern Italy and Southern Gaul, and then spread to Ireland in the seventh century. They can be found all over the place, including Byzantine architecture, Celtic art, Islamic art, illuminated manuscripts, Ethiopian art, and on European architecture. Spiral step patterns and interlocking geometric patterns are dominant motifs in Celtic symbols, and once Christianity had its influence on the Celts in 450 AD, these designs could be found on Christian artwork and manuscripts such as the Book of Kells. The first knot I will show you how to create is the Celtic heart knot. This is a very beautiful symbol that looks like two interlocking hearts and symbolizes the love between two people and eternal life. It is believed that the ancient Celts exchanged these knots in the same way that we exchange rings in modern times. To create this knot, first fold your cord in half and place the left side of the cord over the right. Then pin the middle of that cord to the board. Next, Pin the right side of the cord to the bottom of the board. Then take the left side of the cord and take it through this loop from right to left, weaving it through this loop, first under and then over. Keep it to the right side of the loop as you pull the end all the way through. Now we're going to bring the cord down and we're going to weave it through both of these loops. Make sure to keep the bottom of that cord pinned to the board and we're going to weave it through these two loops, first over, then under, then over. This time, keep that cord to the left side of the loop. Now, we're going to bring that end back up through these three different loops, and we're going to take it under, over, under, then over. Now, turn your knot in a clockwise direction so that the two ends of the knot are facing upward. And now, it's just time to tighten this knot. Make sure that the two ends are facing upward as you tighten, and what I like to do is just simply follow the knot, getting rid of any slack, and working from one end to the other, adjusting and evening out each part of the knot until it is as tight as you'd like.
Once it was complete, this is how the knot looked. You can also double up the cord, which would make this knot appear thicker and bigger. Feel free to experiment with different colors and thicknesses of rope as well. Next, I will show you how to create the Tree of Life knot. This knot represents strength, wisdom, health, and connection to all forms of life. The ancient Celtic Druids also believed that the symbol depicts Mother Earth, whom is the source that nourishes all life. First, fold your cord in half and find the center. Then pin the center to the board. Next, take the left side of the knot and create a loop in a counterclockwise direction with the left side over the right. Place a pin in this loop to secure it to the board. Now we have our one loop with that left end facing downward and we're going to make another second loop in a counterclockwise direction and position it to the right of the first. Make sure that the section facing down is on top and pin it in place. Now we're going to take the two ends of the cords and we're going to place the right side under the left side and then place a pin in it to hold it in place. Now turn your work upside down so that the two ends of the cords are facing upwards. Then bring the right side of the cord straight down and pass it over the top of the right loop. Then place a pin in it to hold it in place. Continue with that right end and bring it from left to right, weaving it through that first loop. First bring it under, then over, then under the three sections of the knot. Pull the ends so that there is a third loop. Now take the left end of the cord and bring it under that left loop. Make sure that you're bringing it from top to bottom. Now continue with that left end and bring it from right to left, weaving it through that third and second loop. So we're going to weave it over, then under, over, then under, then over. First sets over, under, over, under, over. As you do this, it will create a fourth loop that is interlocked with that third loop. For this next part, make sure that there's a space between loop 3 and loop 4. Now take the right end of the knot and weave it through this loop 3 and loop 4 from right to left. And we're going to weave it in the pattern under, over, over, under. Again that's under the edge of the third loop, over the middle section, and then under the edge of the fourth loop. Now take that left end and cross it over the right end and we're going to bring it through the third and fourth loops and weave it over, under, over, under, over and under the six segments. Again that's over the edge, then under this edge, over this segment going through the knot, under this edge, over this segment, 
and then under this edge from left to right. Now we are done tying and you can see that there are two sections of knots. There is a bottom section of the roots of the tree and the top section which is the tree tops. When tightening this knot it's good to keep in mind that there should be space between the two sections. So first I like to remove the pins and I'll show you first in real time how I like to tighten this knot and then speed it up to show you what it should look like once it's complete. I like to simply follow the knot starting at one end and tightening and removing slack as I go. This part is really important. Don't forget to bring the tail of this left side over the top of the bottom loop here. This is important to make sure that you complete this knot correctly.
Once the knot is complete, this is how it should look. I really loved this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This last knot I will show you how to make is called the Seal of Solomon, or I've also seen it called Solomon's Knot. It is a round knot that represents balance and man's connection with the divine. We're not sure what the Celts called this knot in pre-Christian times, but this symbol can be found all over, from Aden Krabkoth from the Akan people of West Africa to the 14th century Egyptian Quran. An Ethiopian legend tells that King Solomon wore a magical ring that bore the symbol of this knot that was engraved by God and was used as a powerful device to subdue evil spirits. To create this knot, we will pin the left side to the board, leaving a tail that is at least six inches long. Then create a clockwise knot and pin it to the board. Now bring the working end up and create another clockwise loop and pin the top part to the board. Continue with the end and bring it under the tail. Now we will weave the end through the two loops in the pattern over, under, over, under. Over the edge of the knot, under the edge of the second loop, over the edge of the first loop and under this edge. Pull all the way through and your knot should have three complete loops. Bring this working cord up, creating a fourth loop, and pin it to the board. Now we are at the beginning point, where the knot begins, and we will double this knot this time, following the path, weaving the cord through the four different loops. I followed the knot on the inside of the first section, and made sure to stay consistent.
Once you get back to where the knot begins, this knot is complete. Now you can go ahead and adjust this knot, evening it out and pulling out any of the slack. Then once you are done with adjusting it, you can keep the ends if you want to tie this knot onto something or you can cut them off. I decided to cut them off and glue them in place for this project. You can use hot glue or fabric glue to do this. Then the knot was complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please let me know in the comments below and also give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell for notifications of upcoming videos and tutorials. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.